have the BoxyCharm for the month of February for you guys, and I'm just going to basically unbox this real quick because a lot of the products in here are not like that friendly for try-on purposes. There is one that I will show as I talk here to the side, but the majority of them are not products that, you know, are like makeup and things like that. So this is my PR box. I do get this sent for review purpose. I like to be super clear about that, but I am subscribed to BoxyCharm myself. Uh, something really cool about BoxyCharm is that it's $25 a month, but you get full size products. Definitely worth the value. I actually am subscribed myself and I will have that video coming up whenever my box arrives as well, as well as my premium box, which I pay for myself will be coming up as well. Also, um, I did partake in the pop-up. Let me know if you guys would want a like little video of what I bought in the pop-up. Um, pop-ups are um, this new thing that BoxyCharm has where you can buy um, certain products for discount and there's like all kinds of products on there. I even bought like these cute pair of socks. They have makeup, all kinds of discounted um, items is on there for certain days. Um, as well as choice, which is like uh, the ability to pick out like what product you are gonna get. So I really, really love all those options that they are giving us now. Um, like I said, this one is my PR one, so I don't select anything in here. This is just sent to me for review purpose. Um, I do have a link down below. It's for, um, I get compensation if anybody uses it. I like to be completely upfront and clear about that. Um, and let's go ahead and jump into the box. Um, and if you're not subscribed, hit that little red button. You can also follow me on my social media down below. I've been trying to do at least like one to two giveaways a month on my Instagram if you wanna follow me there. And um, maybe you'll win a prize, but also see all the beautiful pictures that I post as well. So let's go ahead and jump in. <laughs> Hopefully that wasn't too long of an intro. Um, but this um, little box right here is a pink theme, as you can see, and it says adore all over these little ribbons. Of course, February is the month of love and Valentine's Day. So first thing in here is the Kate Summer KX Active Concentrate Bio Mimicking Peptide Serum. This is $98. Holy crap. I know Cake Somerville is really, really expensive. If I'm not mistaken, we have gotten products from her in the past. I'm almost sure that we got like a scrub or something. And her stuff is really high-end, really nice, luxurious stuff. So I am all about skincare. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you will see that I have literally like so much skincare. I love taking care of my skin. So this is a serum, as you can see there. It looks really nice and it's supposed to smooth and firm and you're supposed to apply one to two drops. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand, see what it smells like. So it has like a very unique smell to it. I can't even pinpoint what it is. Um, it's not something that smells nasty, but it doesn't smell good either. It's like, it doesn't really like give me any kind of vibes or anything, but that is what it looks like. And I am more than happy to add this into my skincare routine. I am always trying different things and playing around with different things on my face. So I absolutely love when BoxyCharm sends something that is skincare related. And like I said, that is $98. Next thing in here is the Alamar Cosmetics Complexion Brush Trio. This is $36. It's vegan, cruelty-free, three-piece brush set. When I saw this on their Instagram, I was like, God, I want those so bad. Um, so this was not part of the choice when you could choose on your base box. Um, I, to be honest, I can't even remember what it was that I chose in my base box, but these are the brushes. They look absolutely gorgeous. I really enjoy um, their other brush set that we actually got from BoxyCharm, which were these green ones, the iFet. Um, and I love them so much that they were in the Boxy pop-up and I repurchased them. So this is actually a flat top kind of kabuki. I would use this more for foundation. There are a few little hairs that are coming out. Um, they just, you know, sometimes that happens when you first get a brush, it's like sheds a little bit. So just thought I'd pinpoint that. And I like the fact that they came with little brush guards too. This really reminds me of my Wayne Goss airbrush. Look at that. Are they not like cut exactly the same? Um, this is a really pricey one and this is amazing just in case. Um, so this is a brightening brush and it's probably really good for underneath the eye to set your powder, which is what I use my Wayne Goss for. Um, so I will definitely try this really soft and nice to the touch and then the last one looks like a really nice like kind of angled blush brush so these are look so beautiful 
so excited. I absolutely love Alamar Cosmetics. I have a few of their things and I have to say I'm totally impressed with all the quality of their products and it is owned by a Latina. So um, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, her name is Gabby. Uh, next thing in here is Ciate Lunday Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. This I will have the little try on here to the side. This is what it looks like. It is a coconut setting powder and it is mainly supposed to be used for what it says is is um, to like as a loose powder or on the box it says that it is good for baking so this is $22 it does have this like coconut like a vacation kind of smell to it like SPF you know like that beachy kind of smell um, it Ciate Lunde always has like this cute little ribbon on their products and it's super cute and I do really feel like for baking it is really nice it does kind of leave a little bit dry underneath the eye just like most of the time when you're baking but it looked really really nice as far as like brightening underneath there so i will use this loosely as a loose powder and for a little bit of baking not too much i wouldn't leave it as long as i left it because i think that was the reason that it was a little too dry but maybe for just like a minute or so and then wipe it off but i love the way this smells i really like the smell of coconut and like that vacation kind of smell um sometimes it's a little too overbearing but sometimes it's just enough and that powder is just like a little touch of coconut which I really, really enjoy. Next thing in here is the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads, and these are $16. I am so glad that these came in here because one of my friends actually recommended this to me and I was like iffy of wh whether I should try them or not because of the fact that I own so much skincare I was like wait let me just like use up some of my products which is a kick that I bid on is using up what I have really trying to like use the products that I own the palettes that I own and not purchase too much I'm on a low buy this year and these are alcohol free and you're supposed to um, use them on your face and neck and decollete once a day for cleaning these are actually with lactic and glycolic acids so they're supposed to exfoliate tone and brighten your skin so I'm so excited to use these and try them out because like I said one of my friends recommended these and I've been dying to get my hands on them and now I have them and then the last thing in here is the Evio Skin Aurora Replenishing Cleansing Hemp Wipes so these are cannabis sative seed oil and it has um balancing multifunctional anti-fatigue so it comes with 15 wipes for ten dollars i have yet to hear of this brand but i know that that's something popular like the whole hemp cannabis is in a lot of products a lot of um you know skincare that has been like a new trend i feel like the last few years so we will definitely see if these are good let me open them up and just kind of smell them it just has a nice clean smell to it nothing like overbearing or anything like that so definitely we'll be playing around with those and like I said this um, hardly has any try on because there's so much skincare in here so as always I will put the total value around here like I said BoxyCharm is $25 a month but they are definitely worth the value that is why I'm subscribed myself to it because it is amazing my mom subscribed to it I've gotten so many friends on to BoxyCharm because I definitely feel like you get your money worth so yeah let me know what your thoughts are on this month's box I'd love to hear back from you and I will have my box coming soon as soon as I get that um, I know I will do a full-on try on in my video because I know I'm getting the Becca foundation which I'm so excited for and especially because they're doing this whole new complexion thing so you can pick complexion products so I'm excited to see if the shade that I picked matched me so let me know down below if you guys are interested in watching that one like my non PR box a lot of you guys liked that last month so yeah let me know what your thoughts are on this month what did you get what are you not excited for what are you excited for I'd love to hear from you down below as always at the end of this video I will have videos here available if you guys want to watch anything else from my channel thank you guys so much for for all your support for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.